My name is Garrett Brown. Welcome to ITM5, where I review MSP vendor demos under five minutes. So today I'm going to go into a demo with Mail Protector. They built a HIPAA compliant email security and management platform for the channel with former MSPs on staff. They built a platform for the ease of use, security, encryption, and deep list of features that you can manage the email security for your clients. So let's jump into the demo. Here is what we saw and here is what we like. So you can log in with your email or you can fire off a magic link and you can set up 2FA. Your reseller dashboard is an aggregate of management details, top level reseller settings, and a chart of aggregate email stats across all of your customers' domains. Now we clicked into this demo domain, which will take you to an overview page for the particular customer domain. So they highlight the health statuses of the mail flow, the MX, and the SPF records. So depending on your customer's needs, you can provision the MX to use the Mail Protector MX, which allows you to use their full suite of security and management tools, or you can keep your Office 365 MX. So select in your delivery method. For example, when using the Mail Protector MX, you'll see an interactive graphic below that allows you to click to add and remove and change which products being used in the mail flow between the products. So you'll need to verify domain ownership, which all you have to do is create a text record that has a unique verification token. Syncing users with an on-prem AD 365 in Google helps Mail Protector understand who is who, which will help prevent spoofing attacks. Now, you can also view and manage the user groups that were synced as well as see the Mail Protector products a group might be assigned to. So if you notice here, the group called Cloud Mail, they have a feature called Split Domain Delivery where, say, you have... 10 users in 365, but maybe you have 20 users in a warehouse, they don't really need 365, but they need email. So because the emails are incoming to Mail Protector, they can split the email traffic to 365 and the other traffic to the Cloud Mail product. So those low touch users can send and receive email and log in at the Cloud Mail portal. So we jump over to the logs, which will show you everything that had happened to a message. You'll see the time, email line information, the quality of the message, which is determined by a score, which then delivers or quarantines them. Lower scores are good, and junk fishing have higher scores. So you can click into each message score breakdown of how the score was derived. They also have detailed log, such as the sender information, the location, and the timeline of the message path. You can preview messages in case you ever need to investigate uh, this, in this case, a junk but potential phishing email. The preview looks like an inbox where you can also view the analytics, but you can instantly block or allow email addresses from the address. So we jumped over to the filtering options. You can manage blocking rules, message rules, and you can also remove trackers in the emails. With spam tolerance, you can control what an when a message gets delivered, you can use presets and how aggressive you want the spam tolerance set to, or you can slide and create a score zone where if it's between a high or a low score, you can deliver it with skepticism. <laughs> I mean, you can tag the subject line with text so the user you know, will see in the subject line it indicates possibly spam. You can also slide and apply score and sensitivity to promotion emails, SPF fails, and it, there's an extensive list of variables that you can adjust. You can encrypt email messages using their bracket encryption, which allows the user to enclose the subjects in brackets, and it will encrypt the message. When the user receives an encrypted message from you, they'll see a customized branded email template where then they click, they go to the portal, and then they can view the encrypted message. White labeling in the console tab is where you'll customize URLs, logos, sign-in pages, email notifications, and favorite content. So pick a flavor of email security management. I've worked with a number of email security providers as an MSP and on the vendor side too. And dude, let me, the best way to put this, you have options, you have a ton of options, but I'll be honest here. Some of these that we've worked with don't have the easiest interfaces, configurations worked with. Sometimes you need, you know, like a real engineer looking at this. I like the scoring that Mail Protector has in place. It's very revealing why some messages get picked off and others don't. It's a fantastic way to dive in and explain to end users who get easily frustrated so you can understand what changes to make. The bracket encryption is really cool because it seems like there's almost no configuration. Cloud feature logs are really detailed. I like the cloud mail ability to give low touch email users, you know, that access to send and receive without grabbing a 365 license. Um, in general, I suggest taking a look at email security management, um, you know, adding it to your stack. So let's check out channel program profile for them. They stood up in 2001, 100% channel based, compliant with HIPAA, PCI, and they work at 365 Google on-prem AD. They offer NFR license, MDF funds, and their white labeling is 
pretty deep. Pricing is month to month based on endpoint volume. So go over to channelprogram.com and search for Mail Protector or search for them in the category email filtering and email hosting. They're active with blogs and videos and they have tons of reviews from MSPs. My name is Garrett Brown and thank you for watching ITM5. I'll see you out there.